To a much lighter note, what happens when you put a real housewife of New York and the cast of Jersey Shore at the same party? Insanity, of course. Yeah, Jill Zarin hit the Hamptons this week and had caught up with our favorite friends from the Garden State. Check this out. We are at the end of Meadow Lane in one of the finest estates in the Hamptons for the weekend's hottest charity event. Phoenix House. Let's take a look. Look who I run into. The star of Jersey Shore, Vinny. Do you have a particular charity you work with? Um, not yet, but I've been trying to spread some awareness about like the golf oil spill. So tell me a little bit about the Jersey Shore versus the Hamptons. Jersey Shore is more rugged. Jersey has the Guidos. So tonight it's all about charity. Do you have anything yet? It's called Free Space on Long Island. It's for autistic kids. Oh, that's great. It's an artistic program, yeah. Hey. How's the season going with America's Top, top Talent? America's Got Talent is going phenomenally. Uh, Howie Mandel is hilarious. Do you know anything about Phoenix House or the organization that's about tonight? Absolutely. I mean, Phoenix House is amazing. And uh, it's one of those things where it inspires hope daily. So what do you think about Jill Zarin being a guest judge on American Idol? <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. You know, listen, stranger things have happened. I'm going to send you my resume. You uh, promise? Pinky swear? Oh, pinky swear. I'm so I like this LX New York. You got this, man, you got so many jobs. I love it. I'm trying. You know, I got to make a living because my husband's drinking tequila all night. <laughs> So we got to run because I'm going to show my New Jersey friends what it's like to be in the Hamptons, right, guys? Let's go pate. See ya. Uh, leave it to Jill. She's such a promoter. Yes. <laughs> and that's like a lot of fun. And you're actually going to be in the Hamptons on Thursday. I am, indeed, getting ready for the 4th of July. Exciting. So join us. It'll be a fun night. Yeah. Okay, so for most of us, after work activities consist of a cooking class or a...